<laughs> wa Kenya Barizenyu. Welcome to the analysis of this channel. <laughs> I umejo wakati mwingine naongea hii channel. At times I speak and at times I bring certain ideas. Some people are always not accepting certain ideas that I always put inside my videos. Now, as far as we are concerned, kimearibika Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Kimechafuka. I want to tell you, sewage imebomoka na imejaza nyumba ya Kenya Kwanza Alliance. In fact, when I was just looking at the how the scenario it is in Kenya Kwanza Alliance, ata watu wengi wamenyamaza. In fact, they are shocked wataambia nini watu. <laughs> hey, lakini I want to say it very clear. If it is the election that is so interesting across the world. It is election of the Republic of Kenya. In fact, when it comes to our democracy, we are at another level. And I always say it without any fear of contradiction. Why? Because in terms of what we are expecting towards democracy, I want to tell you, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, they don't understand the meaning of democracy. Ata our Jew vile ina 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 fafanuliwa. In fact, they don't know the meaning. So for them, is that everything and every day is just a Sunday. I want you to look at the scenario that happened yesterday while they were in Kiambu County. You could even see the body language was not so sincere. I want to say it very clear without any fear of contradiction. <laughs> it was not fair for them because one thing that William Somoruto do understand very well is that the scenario that Raila Amulo Dinga uh, always ca uh, comes up with is a scenario that is hectic towards the politics of William Somoruto. And of course, it is not, Raila is not a visitor when it comes to fighting for his democra uh, de, 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 de democratic right, as far as we are concerned. In fact, when it comes to fighting, uh, uh, when it comes to fighting for democracy, Raila Molodinga has always been having energy every day, every moment where the democracy is being misplaced with certain individuals. And that is why you see that after the case has been filed in the Supreme Court, watu wanajikojolea Kenya Kwanza, watu wanatapika huko, aki watambia nini watu, watambia nini watu. I want to say, relax, relax. I told people here in this channel that maneno bado, bado mapambano, and I say it here very clear. The history of the democracy that is going to come out from the Supreme Court, it is a victory for Republic of Kenya. Not a victory, a victory for Raila Odinga, not a losing point where some people are saying like William Samoruto is going to lose. Yes, there's a big percentage of William Samoruto losing. And also there's a big percentage of Raila Odinga becoming victorious when it comes to democracy. But when it comes to what we are expecting, is that after the verdict of the court, we are going to celebrate as Kenyans, not as the supporters of Raila, as Kenyans, not suppo as supporters of William Samaruto. Because this democracy that these leaders has come out to fought for, it is a democracy that tomorrow I'm going to enjoy it, Tomorrow you are going to enjoy it. So watu kujikojolea Kenya Kwanza Lads na kujitafikia huko. Siwe jina kuambia siwe jimetoboka Kenya Kwanza Lads. Watu wa wapumui. Haiki watambia watu nini, watambia watu nini. I want to tell you, this is not mockery, but I want to say it very clear. It is something that is, yani nikitu tu ina nifraisha, you know. When I was like after the declaration of Wafule Chebukati announcing William Samuri Ruto as the president elect, <laughs> I say it very clear in this channel. 
that remember one thing democracy is going to prevail and justice is going to prevail in this republic of kenya in fact we should be ranked number one when it comes to democracy because in this time of period after the election was uh, concluded and chibukati came out announcing william somuto as the president elect some people were injured in their hearts but i was among those people who started to bring hope <laughs> to people and supporters of Raila Odinga. And remember one thing, I want to say it. Jameni, uyu muze alipita, ukatae ukubali, Raila Odinga alipita yi election. Ukatae uruke, useme yako yote, <laughs> Raila Odinga won this election. And I say it very clear. <laughs> Do you remember a video that I analyzed? saying that there is a scenario that is waiting after the declaration of Wafula Chebukati. And I said it, these were, were three points. Number one was runoff. Number two was that William Samoto was going to be declared by Wafula Chebukati, that is the winner and the president-elect, but Raila Muludinga was going to court. It has come to pass. Wengine walisema oh Boniface wena mjinga hakuna kitu unajua <laughs> has come to pass has come to pass Then I said the next thing is that uh, Raila Muludinga was going to be declared a winner then William Samuel was going to court but uh, the court was going to uh, give their verdict that Raila Muludinga won the election Again I want to say certain scenarios that is waiting after the case has been filed by the Azumi Lomoja. And I want to say three things. And just be sincere. Nataka uskize. Yili, unitusi tu, comment the way you want. But these are things that is going to come after the justice is going to prevail. Number one, expect after if court is going to order Chibukati uh, that this forms to be retaliated. Mark my words. Raila Amolo Udinga is going to be declared the president-elect and now the authority is going to remain at the Supreme Court. Si huyu muizi wafula chibukati tena kutangaza. It is Raila Amolo it is the Supreme Court that is going to declare in case of retaliating of those forms and they are going to find if Raila Amolo Udinga won election. Take it to the bank. And after that, Raila Odinga to be declared a, a winner. Raila Odinga is going to be sworn in at that day that the verdict ata kamita kosa sita usiku. Raila Odinga is going to be sworn in. Na naenda kupewa powers. Now, and I want to tell you that is the scenario that is going to happen. Number two is that rerun. And rerun, if rerun is going to happen, Wafula Chibukati is not going to conduct election. There's some people that are going to be hired. And these people that are going to be hired under tight and supervision of Supreme Court. And I want to tell you, Raila Odinga is going to win this election. I've heard some people saying that now when they are going to be rerun, William Samaruti is going to win. Take it to the bank. And I repeat again, after this nullification, people are going to come out voting mysteriously the way they can. And even you can see in 2017 what happened, where after the nullification, people did not come out to vote because Raila Odinga came out and said that you should not vote. <laughs> then, then another scenario was that um, in case of this thing being, uh, uh, for example, if court is going to uphold, yes, that this election was free and fair, which according to me I don't see. Because at the scenario that we are today now, is that DCI has come out to give their evidence. Certain 16 organizations of human, human rights has come out to file the case. And certain individuals, people like Ruben Kaga, Kagame, people like Omutata, has come out to file a case against Wafula Chibukati. So, so, so the scenario that is going to be hectic. Expect something to come out. And that is why you see people wanajikojolea. Watu siweji meja Kenya kwanza, watu wanaumia uko. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below.
Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. If you are a visitor, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. Bye bye till we meet on another video.